what's that for again? This is where the water lines are going to come in. It's where they've come in in the past. Water line, water line, and then the seawater the drain. But I might have to move the drain a little bit, so I have to go in here and see how my gastivation works. Those are perfect. Here, we get this. I like that better. Down. Right there, right there, put this here so we don't go through the table. What are you doing now? So, what we have to do, this will fit one way and not the other, and it's an extremely tight fit. So what I'm gonna do is just take about that much off this whole side. Edges down? would be our water heater going in or trying to go in huh I don't like that at all. yeah does shouldn't it go that way where it sits on the bones this way or what I do This. 
build a and build a shelf kind of thing. Shelf, because that way I'm looking right here will be the back of the uh, back of our head. Yeah, this is where the washing machine is going to go. Or what I do is turn it around like this. Wouldn't it be easier with all the connections on the other way? What, up like this? No, the other way. Okay. Or no, because it needs to go through a through hole, right? No, this does not need to go through a through hole. What I need is this cold water and this hot water go over here and connect in. Because there used to be in here, there's a plywood mount that was like glassed in. That could have been where the generator was at, though. But if I make a shelf, I can do this. Scoot back like this. Just like what uh, George did. That gives me a little workroom to get in here and get the oil. And is that going to be too close to the battery? Well, I'm just set it up there. I'll slide it this way. Go like this. Off the shelf. That's probably a good idea right there. That's that way you can still get into either IE work on the engine if you needed to from there, or you can do the battery, or you can do the hot water heater. But now that I'm thinking about it... But where are we putting a generator at? I have to build another shelf. We have water. Did yes, you know we that? do. Yes, we do. I really want you to stay up there. So, if I build a shelf, put it back here. Like that. Hold on. Here. That looks like that piece is all you need. Okay. So if I do a shelf like this, like what he did for the battery, this and this will run over to the engine because the hot water from the engine will run through this to heat it. Oh, so it's this. not like a normal house one? No. Okay. It'll heat with the engine. Uh huh. Or, in through here is the actual element like that's in the house. Oh. Which will heat it as well. This is, I believe, the hot water out, cold water in. So I can bring those with the 90 up and 90 in. And what I do, like right here, there's a piece of wood. I can do another piece of wood over here and build over here another piece to make a shelf. And this is where the generator will sit. Okay. Now, you, you know how much I love to create more work for you. <laughs> yes, you're very good at it. <laughs> um, what, is that a smart place for the battery if the water heater is going to be there? Or should we like move it up like on top, on top of the hot water heater? Uh, the battery is okay where it is. Okay. Because this is self-contained. I can't see you through all this stuff. The water heater is self-contained. If it leaks, it's just going to run down here in the bilge. Or if it's going to blast, it's going to blast all over the motor. But ideally, it would be sitting... We're going to spray water again. It would be sitting right out here, so there would be room in here for the battery. Okay, I guess that's what I was worried about. If there was or even I could turn the battery and put two of them in here, which one day I will do, but no time soon. Okay, then I like it right there. So that's what I'm thinking. I can screw it down to the stringer, my shelf, just like George did. George is our helper if anybody needs to know. George is amazing. I miss George. He did not want to be on Facebook. That's why there's no film for him. And we're just calling him George? 
We're just calling him George. We really don't know what his real name is? No. Or where he lives? No. We just George. Yes. So that's what I'm thinking. The only issue I see now, I ain't got room for more batteries back here. So I gotta figure out where to put more batteries. But that's an issue for another day. You can always build the shelf and put them back here. Until you get the generator. Until I get the generator. The generator's gonna be way down the road. Probably one of the last things we get because it's so expensive. Yes. So that's what I'm thinking. So I will have to go to Don's Marine Salvage and try to get some teak to build this shelf. Or, or, what about those mahogany pieces we or, have in the garage? No, I might have a better idea. We have plywood. Mm -hmm. There is, right here, a piece of wood. I can screw plywood to that, run it over, and bring the floor all the way out and just set this on the same floor. Are you talking about the one that's in the, that I parked the Jeep next to? No, Oh. I'm talking up front. Oh, do you the want me scrap. to go grab some? No, I'll have to measure it out and bring it in. And Cause that's marine, that. that's marine plywood. That's marine plywood. And then what I can do is get some treated two by fours and cut for bracing underneath. And it'll sit there and that way we'll have a floor in here if we need it. Like if we mount the washer up higher. We, we will need it cause the washer's gonna go in there. So right there in that hole is gonna be my washer. So that's my thumbkin. What you think about my thumbkin? I like it. And then that should ideally be almost the same height as this. So I can use George's platform and connect it. Connect it. There you go. And that's how we do it. So that's about that high. That's going to be perfect. That's exactly what I need. So I'll have to find some pressure treated two bys to put under there. Home Depot. Probably just one. And I think that would do it. All right, so I was a bad person. I did work. Nancy wasn't ready. I didn't film it. Bad me. 10 lashings with a wet noodle. Ooh. So, the silver box is a game changer for us. It's called a hot water heater that Ooh. we picked up in Annapolis. What I did is I ran 110 volts and connected it. I've run, let me get out of the way here. I've run our water lines that come in from the outside here and they tee, they run forward and back to here. And the water comes in here, runs through here, and comes out, should come out hot. So I've pressurized, let's see here. Yep, we got water, so there's water in it, so it's pressurized. And what we used here is called a PEX tubing, because it's flexible. And we like to be flexible on boats. I've wired it up to a breaker on our 110 panel. I built this platform. We're going to build another platform right in here, probably where this block is back here, to cover all this up. And hopefully we're going to stick a generator back up in here. Well, that'll be all in due time. And then our washing machine is going to be right in here. Somewhere. Right here. Right there. Boop, boop. I hope so. I've screwed it down front and back so it's not going to go anywhere. This is screwed down to the beams underneath. The, pla the platform's not going anywhere. Yeah. What do you say we flip the breaker on and see what happens? See if we get sparks. Okay. All right. Don't Time do for it? boat yoga. Boat yoga. Okay. Here. Let me grab here. Reach over here somewhere. And you go boom. Here. Then you have to reach out here and pull yourself out. Ah. <sighs>
That's how you get out of the engine room. <laughs> and hit your head. We'll open this up. Lovely electrical panel, which I'm not done hooking up yet because all of these, let's see here, let me get a light, I'll show you. All of these labels should be backlit, but I haven't gotten it on yet. So as you see, we're not pulling any amps and we have voltage. The mains on, our galley outlets on, more outlets and cabin outlets. This one should see a green light. Amps came up. You know what that means? I got hot water. We're making hot water. One project done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. There's a lot more to come. Can't wait till next week. It's going to be some more exciting content. As you see, the dogs are swimming nicely. Patio? Yeah. We're, we're, we're pretending we're, we're, you know, work with us here. <laughs> but if you like this, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, like. Head on over to Patreon as well and look up uh, SV Free Spirit. There's a lot of benefits out there. We'll help you connect with us. Also, we have some very exciting news coming up in the very near future. So watch in the next video or two and some of that might be coming out as well. Also, you can head on over to our website at sv-freespirit.com. You can buy lots of this merchandise, shirts, bags, hats, cups, you name it, it's there. All the proceeds do help support the channel as well as the project. Speaking of supporting the project, what about our favorite shopping list? Oh, Amazon! They love to drop stuff off at our house. Underneath our giving page, you can click on our Amazon wish list and purchase something directly for the boat. Yes. Not this one, the bigger one. No, there's stuff on there for Dingleberry. True story. Okay, for both boats. For anything. You can head on over there and purchase something. Also, if you would like to help promote the channel, we are a 501c3 not-for-profit, so we will be able to accept tax donations, and all donations are tax deductible off your IRS income taxes. Yep. Good stuff. Good stuff. So make sure to hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and continue to join us on the adventure. You need to start rowing. Do you know why? Because we got another video coming out next week. Oh. Bye, guys. <laughs>